Hey everyone, uh, it turns out now is the time that I have for starting to put into the score screen and I figured, hey, let's let's video it <coughs> so you can kind of see uh, how I do these different, how I, how I add a state and, you know, the workflow of um, how I go about these things. I started in game state and added this here line. I decided score screen still has an explorer but it has a when did you stop kind of thing so which gives me a pause state so that I can look at uh, how much time is left even though it's not really a paused guy he's paused for the end. And then the next bit is I made myself a score screen renderer and a score screen input and then for the for my for our next trick we actually have to wire the thing in because right now it's the our renderer is angry with us for having uh, for not having score screen and And we do need the uh, screen render draw score screen, and of course we will be sending the paused explorer in there. Of course that doesn't exist, so let's make it. So it's going to be a positive. So I need. What these things, what do these things return? These, as I recall, returns unit. So, let draw store screen paused explorer. I will give it the type, to save ourselves some problems. Cardinal direction state equals we'll just have it do some nothing. And we do need, need, need state now. And we're cool. Similarly, our input multiplexer doesn't like the fact that we don't have our square screen. In the case of this, the only thing that happens at least for now. Vent the key code. Score screen input. Handle score screen input. So we're just going to take a key code and return a bool. So let's do that. We'll just return it, have it return false all the time. That way we have it compiling. Yes, we do. And our next trick is to actually have it, not the post screen, the play screen input. So whenever we get external quit. And... Okay, game state is explorer. Let's pause game. How do I do it? Yeah. No, I don't want to. How do I do it for the for help? Open help. So how does open help work? Well, then that's uh, explore. Uh, uh, it's really we're ending the game at that. We'll call it quick game. Brilliant. So let quit game. Explore. 
Explorer. We allow all those things. I'm going to do Explorer. Pause Explorer. And Explore Screen. And that should take us there. Let's see if that compiles or not. And then we shall have stubbed in the thing and we can start doing all of our cool stuff. And it does work. But I do need at least a way to go borrow from uh, the help screen input. <coughs> borrow you even though we have to we have to modify it. So we're just gonna say, hey, hit the escape and you're gonna go to the title screen. And we're angry about something that we don't know in there, so we're gonna borrow this too. Yeah, copy pasta for the win. Oh, not that one. Uh screw screen but and should be happy. So now when I'm in there, and I want to at least have my square screen renderer should at least clear the screen. And we're going to pick a new color, I think. I don't think I have any, anything of this silver background. We'll try that. And we will... Well, I also know we're going to need some strings. And we'll borrow a couple of these. I keep hitting the wrong one. I can type, really, I can. Definitely not color silver. We'll go with Onyx. Two zero. Uh, with final score. Score string strings. Let me borrow this. Probably going to. We're going to, we're going to need game data. Let's find out if we need game data. That means we don't need game data back here either. We don't need game. We don't need game data. Which means we don't need it here. Which I don't think. Let's see. This is one of the, the uh, built-in Visual Studio stuff. I think there's NuGet packages that does a lot of this. But in C Sharp, I just right-click and say, yeah, get rid of the ones I don't, not actually referencing. In F Sharp, it does not. At least not just in the core. Um, I think there might be a plugin, there might be a NuGet package, but who wants all that? So we built, okay, cool. So now... If I quit, I will go to a score screen that says final score, where it's black on silver. And then, um, it will, well, that's cool. All right, and so then, and then I hit escape and it'll go to the title screen. Probably have some sort of, probably have some sort of indication. Do that as well. So on line 17, escape. Call it main menu. Maybe I will have the ability to restart from here, but at the very least. So let's give it a shot, test it out. We got a stub. Do 
two. I'm gonna do a new game. We did something, and now we hit Q. Final score, escape main menu. So here's our score screen, nice and blank. We can do the stuff we want to do here, and we get that good. Okay, cool. And we can start another new game. Quit. Escape. All right. Uh, let's get the other ties in. Because one of the things we want to do is whenever, whenever we're playing. And give me just a moment here. All right. So whenever, anytime after we move, anytime after there's an action. There's an explorer, and I think what I also need is all right. Let's take a look here. There are some explorer states. Where'd you go? There you go. There's uh, win, alive, dead, and out of time. We're going to eliminate win. Win was there for hey. You got all the treasure, and now you're done. Or I can change the one game to, hey, um, so we have stairs now. So it's, it's not even really w winning the game, it's you made it to the stairs, game made it to exit. So one game isn't a, is not a good name for the function. So what are we going to call it instead? We're going to call it that, um, call it exited. Uh, we'll call it found, uh, took stairs. Then he exited. And took stairs. There he is. We're going to try to pick. Uh, we just, it's very. Sp We're going to use. Uh, currently doesn't work this way, but it will in a minute. So, get counter stairs. Greater, greater than zero. So, we're going to get a counter. It's called stairs, but we're going to need that counter. And that's in state. Counter type stairs. I'll start off at zero whenever we move onto stairs. To find the bit where. Item pickup update. Here's item pickup. So I exit. So I got to pick up exit. Pick up exit state. Set counter counter type. Exit. It hasn't figured it out because I haven't built. Let's see. Are we angry? Okay. So now we've got. Our now I also so I want to see at what point does it determine how to draw things differently? Because as it works out, this no longer you now the second it gets to. Rendering a room, it is no longer going to render the room. It will okay. All right. If you if you run out of time, and if you run the stairs, so all right, that's cool. All right, that's still going to be all right. So when you hit the stairs, it's going to trigger game over, and it's going to show all this stuff. And then you hit you hit Q, it'll take you to the to the score screen. 
and that's all right. But there's a, there's a, there is a problem, and well, there may be a problem depending on what I decide to do about uh, time left. Because if I'm going to score any amount of time remaining and give you points, but it's only going to be conditional. We'll, we'll figure that junk out when we when we get to it. But, okay. Of course, I could just have a timer. I could just use a different counter and just set it right there. And then, okay. So there's a way around this. <coughs> but, okay. So now... There isn't a win. Uh, what do we call it? Oh, still called a win here. Okay, let's let's build it. I find the problem. Doesn't like me. Now, um, Structure and then and now. Okay, let's get it constructed in any way. Okay, sometimes the um, atypical uh, operators in F -sharp cause problems with parsing and compiling. So I'll parentheses for the win. So I go, hey, if I have any stairs greater than zero, then let's let's then we're then we're true. Then we're at then we're at exited. Now we should fail with the win condition. It doesn't like win. Is it ooh, wow, get off by a letter. Exited and that's not gold. Doesn't matter. It's gold. Let it be gold. Color is one of those things. Is what uh, I mean. It's important to not be one of the other colors. I got dead and out of time. I mean, maybe this one should be amethyst. I don't know. We'll make a suggestion. All right. So if I manage to hit the exit, I'll be there. Do we build now? Okay. Now, if only there were a way to determine where the exit is. Actually, there is. There is quite a way to... Uh, a way to cheat to get let's put 25 exits in can't ship this way but alright that way we should find one relatively quickly and we can see if that works there's one hey cool alright so And then, quitting from here, Q, give me the final score, and then I hit escape. Alright, that's good. Let's put that back to 1, so that works to my satisfaction. Neato, neato. Oh, no. We're likely to need more counters, is my guess. But at the very least, okay, so each one of these things is a potential for um, 
each one of these is a potential for you get score. So, so loot uh, one, call ten, ten score for each loot that you have. Keys are trickier because keys are meant to be used. So, um, we're not gonna not gonna make it crazy with a twenty-five score. Potions, uh, I think that's important. We start out with, we'll start out, call it 50. For attack, if you manage to max out your attack, um, you start out with a 1. So 50 score, we'll just give you 50 score. Defense. We'll call that 100. It's hard to keep those. Now, amulet, we will give you um, here's a tough one, 500. And the stairs, we're going to give you we're gonna give you 250. Now for the loot, I can give a bonus of because typically it's, there's around 50 or so, so it's about 500, I'm going to give you 500 bonus for all of them. The keys, there's no possible way to do it, so with the attack, 250, um, we're going to, we're going to, but the other ones we're going to need, monsters killed, and we're going to call that 25 score. In, uh, so for defense, maybe I want. See, I'm not not the not based on attack. So I'm going to count the the swords that I get, and a um. So that's four of them. Fifty score. 200 bonus if I get all of them. Shields acquired. 100 score. And it's a variable number, so I'm going to give 1,000 bonus. So we're going to get all of the shields. <coughs> Love interest. Thousand score, and so on, and then also for the monsters, um, you got 2,500 bonus. You kill all of them. Well, right, just making this stuff up as we go, because it doesn't really matter. Um, and then traps sprung, doors unlocked. Now we're gonna get minus. We're gonna get minus. So you gotta make this hurt a little bit. Minus twenty-five. Doors unlocked. Because I'm not, I'm not doing. So the keys left. Doors unlocked. Let's in, let's in, let's encourage it. So twenty five score. So you unlock a door or you grab a key. Either way. So these are just things we need to get in there. Oh, but for now, I think. And then do I want? Do I want this per monster type? I don't know. I do. I think monsters killed is just fine. On average, yes, he killed skeletons, zombies, whatever. And also some of these things. Ooh, hourglasses. Forget hourglasses. Acquired. And those those are so we'll call it fifty score. And yeah, you know, we will we will take all of all of this. 
We'll make a table out of it because it doesn't make doesn't have to be. Because uh, one of the last things I I want to do is have a if this then multiply by that. I want to have a nice sequence and then run through it and be done. But it's going to need to make a. So it's going to need to convert something into a score type and then have um, scores and bonuses. And then also, the, the funny thing is that the score has nothing to do with the game. The game, so Maze Explorer game here, doesn't care one bit about your score. It Its job is to have the business rules for how you go about the maze. Score is com a completely UI thing. It's a complete presentation layer thing. And while a lot of the stuff being tracked by the game feeds into it, it the game itself doesn't care what your score is. Only you do. But, all right. And really only on the score screen render. So... Let's get ourselves. Well, we got some things that we can already do. So, one, we'll have to uh, change some stuff around with how we do this because we're going to have a uh, going to have going to have ones with formats. And are they all numbers? Yes, they are all numbers. And that's okay. All right. Because I think what has to go on funny. go based on because Positive Explorer I only really need this name so but okay for now let explore equal unpause game and it looks like I don't need the paused explorer here. On pause explorer. So the only thing you let state explorer dot state because I think. string is so it's going to take a explorer state and put it out there cell in that case then I don't I might put pause explorer twice I only need state and this is going to make everything very angry but if that's all I need then that's all I'm going to store and if I want my time thing, I'm just going to need to store something in the state before I get here. Alright, let's find out. Let's find out where the compiler is angry. Where are you angry? It said, hey, that's not Pause Explorer. Um... Now we're going to have to go back here, and that's just going to be score screen of state. 
and it's going to be unhappy because it's like, hey dude, um, you're pausing the explorer and sending it here and I just need the state. And now we're, now we should be happy. So, all right. And, okay. Let's get ourselves to a point where we've got one of these. And now we're going to have to call it quits for the day. Because, you know, I got other stuff to do. It's back to work today. X zero. Fun. E. Put it on line two. Uh, e. Counter loot as printf loot okay, now I want to chain this and this is where it's I want to multiply it by ten. <laughs> yeah, multiply it by ten. Now I'm going to print up loot, so percent or or I. All right, now let's go ahead. We don't care here. This one is a state. We do care. So all right. No, state, get the loot. So state, get the counter of loot, multiply it by 10, print it as loot, and spit that out here at 0, 2. We'll quickly run through that. We should be able to find a treasure relatively quickly. And then... Oh, on the potion. Oh, no, oh, okay. keys. Treasure. So now if I quit, loot 10. All right, cool. And so that, that gets us on our way to, uh, to having, uh, to having a score screen. It is, it is the rudiments of it and there's a long way to go, but it's in and now I just have to finish up what what goes into the score and what the calculations are and how to display it. And that's the score screen and thanks for watching.